Last day walking down these halls. It's bittersweet. This is our second apartment here in Austin. We stayed here for two years. It was in East Austin, and we're definitely gonna miss this area a lot, but we moved to Southeast Austin, so it's not too far away. You can always come back to East Austin, but today we're doing our walkthrough and giving the keys back. So sad, but obviously we're on to bigger and better things. We had a two bedroom at Lenox 7th, and this is what the kitchen looked like. I finally got all of the backsplash off. If you guys didn't see that vlog, I did my own stick on backsplash, and it was kind of a bitch to take off just because I didn't put the blue tape in uh, some places, but I did for the most part. And we got the cleaners to come yesterday. This is our kitchen, in a nice big kitchen island. The living room right here, our guest bathroom. So much storage in this place, which was so nice. This was the iconic filming office room, guest room, all of the above. It was honestly pretty small, but we fit a lot in here. And then this was Ryan's closet. This is the bedroom. We got our king size bed, two nightstands, a dresser, a mirror, and then the primary bath, two sinks. If you missed that, I know right now we only have one sink, but hopefully soon enough we'll do. Bathroom renos. This is the shower. I loved that shower. A nice big linen closet. And then this was in my closet. I got the walk in, of course. This is kind of embarrassing to show, but we do have a Yorkie and she loved to pee right there. So we're definitely expecting to be charged for that, but I'm so nervous to see how much we're going to be charged for that. We will see. Forgot about this. I think I want to take this and maybe reuse it. It's like those LED strip lights. And how can I forget the best part? This view. One thing I won't miss is the sound that comes from the street. It's so noisy here compared to our house right now. It's a lot later, it's 2.45, and I've just been trying to cross off so much on my to-do list for today. Last night, well, technically this morning, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and just had like a running to-do list in my head. I feel like my mind never turns off, and if I don't write it down on my phone, I will not do it. I won't remember, and I'm kind of crazy because I don't put it on like a to-do list, which I probably should. Instead, I put it on my calendar, straight on my calendar, and then once I finish a task, I just move it all the way up to like 1 a.m. so that it's out of the way. I don't know why I'm like this. Recently, I actually got a paper planner and it's in the mail, so I'm excited to get that, but it's only starting in January, I believe. Um, but hopefully, like, having a paper planner will make me a little bit more organized, because right now, I feel like my mind is just going in so many different directions. One of the things that I really wanted to get done was just put these press-ons and I think that took me like 15 minutes. In my last vlog slash like last night, I was going to an event and earlier that morning I took off all my press-ons thinking I would have time to redo press-ons, but I didn't. So I sized all my nails because I was so close to putting them on, but good thing I didn't because I definitely would have been late if I did these. But now I feel a little bit human again with my nails done. I just unboxed some PR and I got my friend Pia's new collection. I want to show you guys. She has an apparel company called Ignited Apparel. I did a little flat lay for my Instagram stories, but she sent over this sweat set and I love this color. Everything just feels so freaking comfy. Weirdly enough, I think I'm the most excited about these house slippers because they're so soft. Now that we have wood floors and not carpet, I'm always wearing socks or I'm always wearing house slippers. There's no in between. I feel like I can't stand just my bare feet on the wood floor. So these are gonna be so perfect. And then look how cute this little beanie is. Usually I get an XL in sweatshirts, but I went for a large this time because I didn't want it to be too baggy. I feel like I'm always making that mistake is like ordering something way too big, but I think this is gonna be a perfect size. I feel like Sophie hasn't been in the vlogs lately. So what do you wanna say to your followers, Sophie? That your hair is growing out. We recently took her to get groomed and I feel like they just cut off too much under her beard or like under her uh, mouth and that's where it's supposed to be so fluffy so we we're sad but it's growing out nicely. This has to be a joke but I freaking ran out of gas. Thank god it was not on the highway. Holy shit I would have shit my pants. Honestly I'm 
I'm on the verge of tears right now. Thank God I'm like not too far away from home, but Ryan still has to like get me a little bit of gas probably. I don't know how that happens. I just called Ryan and he was like, okay, just stay there. <laughs> I'll come. I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. I was trying to like, I heard like a, a, a sound and I was like, oh fuck, I think <laughs> I know what that is. And I started slowing, slowing down and I tried to pull over into like, um, like a driveway or like a parking lot and it, I just couldn't make it. So I'm like in the street with my flashers on and somebody like beeped at me and I'm like, let's use your brain. Can we just use your brain? <laughs> like your flashers are on. What do you expect? Oh, I'm like shaking right now. Anyways, um, I was like already running late because I'm meeting my friend for dinner, but I just told her, let's just make it another hour. I feel so bad. No, because I did not realize I was literally in the middle of a bus lane. Well, almost in the middle. Thank God I wasn't. All right, we made it to the gas station. Literally do not know what I would do without Ryan. I'm so done with today. I went to get gas and then I just like plugged in ramen tatsu really quick and I thought I chose a South Amara location, but apparently they have one in South Austin. So I was like driving for a good 10 minutes and you know, number one, I'm, I never really know where I am <laughs> and like I'm directionally challenged. But I was like, oh my God, there's like kind of a lot of traffic. I don't really know where I am right now. And then I like looked and of course it was not the location I was supposed to go to. And then once I turned back around, it was like 25 minutes to the South Lamar location. I was like, are you kidding me? Anyways, we're here. We're in one piece. That's all that matters. My car is okay. Even though it has the check engine light still on, but Ryan said that will go away. So <sighs> we are good. The problem is Guys, my order is the shoyu ramen, extra noodles with the corn bomb. Don't sleep on the shoyu, it's so flavorful and so freaking delicious. I'm with Senna, and me and Senna went to high school together. She's a year older than me, and we had, uh, what's it called? AP, AP, AP Environmental Science. Oh yeah, AP Environmental Science, the only AP I yes. could get into. What'd you get? I got the... I forgot what it's called, but it's one? the chicken. It's a chicken broth one. Okay. And but I took out the pork and I subbed or added in chicken garage. So let's yeah. see how it tastes. Okay guys, it's time for the first Christmas movie of the year. Candy Cane Lane. I'm so excited to see it. Have you watched a Christmas movie? Yeah, with a few. Are you serious? Without me? What's Chris Wald's this really? Well damn. <laughs> Where was I? Home alone, home alone two, home alone four. Are you joking right now? Lisa always fire. Those pigtails. <laughs> I made this fire. My first fire. Looking pretty good. What is that? Can I see the sponsor box? <laughs> we thought both of these boxes were our hammock. And this is an Amazon box. That is huge. It might be a hammock. Oh! No. <laughs> what? That's so cool. Wait, that's cute. I kind of want to like wait to open it like okay. later so we can put the presents under my tree. <laughs> looks so nice. Wow. Okay. Let's get all this. Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah. I'm going to do a POV of what I see, guys. What I was trying to tell you guys is that our hammock got here. We <laughs> thought both of these boxes were our hammock, but I guess one box is just our hammock. And we're gonna set it up because we have so many nice days ahead of us. So we definitely want to set it up. Time for yeah, I was actually driving. Um, we need to go walk around Lady Bird Lake because all the fall trees are so pretty yeah. and so colorful. And it's like December 7th and it's just now getting to like really pretty fall leaves, which is funny. Um, but anyways, maybe we'll open that after, but I want to set my hammock up before it gets too dark. Oh my God, holy shit. It's so orange. Just how you like it. We cannot find the hammock anywhere, and I swear I bought the hammock because I chose the color of the hammock. And I just looked up my order number, so I'm so confused right now. We just reached out to support, but literally just the stand came with the order. So it's so sad because I really wanted to use it this weekend. Hopefully they reply soon enough. I think we're just gonna go ahead and build the base so that when it comes, we just snap it right on. She's reading it, look. Okay, we want 
one, two. So yeah, Jack, you're doing it right. Look, she missed that one. <laughs> I don't love the color of this wood, but we didn't really have a choice <laughs> with I that. Sure oh yeah, you do? A nice the orange. The color I picked. A nice burnt orange for the longhorns. Yeah. But um, this is going to be so nice when we actually have the fabric part. I feel crazy, like I'm being gaslit right now, that it's somewhere in here, but like it's quilted, so it's like padded, so it shouldn't just be like something small, you know? But it's not in here. Unless it came in a separate package. But I feel like they should have said that. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to use it whenever they message me. Sophie, she is so picky about where her ball ends up. I just threw her hamburger to her. And she like literally went over here to smell it. Like she knows it's here, but she won't freaking pick it up. And it's so annoying. Oh, now when I carry it, you want it. She'll only... She'll only, like, carry it if I put it on the, like, wood or cement over there. What did I tell you guys? <laughs> You're so annoying, Sophie. She has, like, four balls in the yard because, like, we want to play with her. But she just does not like the grass. And we'll even throw, like, smaller balls. She's able to, like, pick those up in her mouth even though they're, like, a little bit bigger. She won't even get the smaller ones in the grass. Look. She just sniffs around. And then she leaves it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so annoying? We just want to play with that. you. How's the hammock, Rye? So soft. <laughs> <laughs> I like the quilted pattern. <laughs> Sophie likes it. Sophie, you like her new hammock? She got up here on her own. I didn't pick her up. Pretty soft. This is literally how she likes to on a hammock. Oh, when the real thing's here, you're gonna love it, Sophie. I told you guys I would not let you down. We are gonna find out what's in here. Ryan is like standing behind the camera like a producer with a little cue card because he saw that card and I guess it's everything in here and he said he was gonna steal two or three items in here. So I didn't take a look though. This is just probably the most iconic PR package ever. They have like little numbers on them. I'm guessing it's kind of an admin calendar situation, but like, how you gonna give a girl this many presents and then make her wait? Don't wait, you just have to open one first. No, oh, but I think it's like open one one day, then the next day, the second I think day. there's more than 12. The second day. Maybe there's only 12. Christmas. Yeah, like 12 days of Christmas. Let's see. Too. Maybe this all is in here then. Okay, well anyways, let's get to it. What do you think it is, shake it? <laughs> Like a pair of slippers. The smiley Amazon slippers. What if I actually got it right? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like a coach bag? This was on. What the heck? <laughs> That's number two? Yeah, uh. I think so. Wow. What the heck? <laughs> That's I don't know not what, what I thought it was. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You love this stuff. Oh, I have both of these, I think. Well, let's see what these are. These are cool. My stoves. <laughs> Off Warren fragrances? Oh, <gasps> nice. What they the just heck? happen to be men's. Wait, remember when I, like, did I used to get them for you or? Yeah, Polo Black. Like when I were in high school? Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Let's see which scents they are. Oh, there's a pink one. Mm -hmm. Romox. Polo red. Yeah. And blue, not black. No. Oh. Oh, I like those. Oh, thanks. You said you got me polo black in high school. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's actually winning some cologne for Christmas. Too, so. I feel like you always want cologne for Christmas. Yeah, well, Does it good. actually last you a full year or do you have I still have, yeah. The last one. I got you like three or four of them you got me. What'd you say? I've used like four out of five you got me. Okay, My pocket or bone or whatever. Which number is next? Six. This is the good stuff. That's what I thought you were going to have. Oh, yeah. Time. Laneige, Suwasu, and um, Innisfree. I think you're going to like it. It feels heavy. Oh, wow. A 
agave because I don't have enough bottles of agave around. <laughs> Running joke in the household is that I buy too many of like one thing because I didn't, I don't realize that I have it. But lots of sugar. I got one of these things. And then we have a cookbook. Let's see. Natasha's Kitchen. I ain't never heard of her, but. Natasha Bayer No. Okay. Just a bunch of makeup. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Another Laneige that's lip mask. A, that's what I thought. Was in my first Laneige one? Because I can never have enough of that. Because but a bunch of e.l.f. products, too. Primer. Power grip. Power grip. Primer. The camera went black. I'm not really sure when we stopped filming, but just got some makeup products, and Ryan was saying that this is the one he thought I would love. The Laneige um, lip sticking mask. Yeah. What? That's the one I'm gonna steal. Now that we have two stories of our house, I need this in every room, you know? Here, here. I know, but not really. Because I just took the car Laneige one out because I couldn't find my litter Laneige one. This kid's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh, a dip powder freaking kit. A lot of gel, gel polish and all this stuff. Which right now, I believe that PR package, like that was insane. It is five on a Friday night and I am about to head out to my friend Kayla's Christmas party. She does this thing every year. She invited me last year and I was already back home in Georgia. So I'm so excited I get to go this year. We're all wearing our PJs and I don't know if we're decorating cookies or what, but I'm really excited and I'm excited to see her new house because she went ham on the Christmas decorating. So it's gonna be so fun. I do wanna do some giveaways sprinkled here and there into like the last few vlogs of Vlogmas. I guess I am kind of doing Vlogmas if I'm vlogging every single day, maybe not posting every single day. Anyways, I want to do some giveaways, so stay tuned for that. I will um, put them in the next few vlogs as I go through everything because I also have some PR that I haven't used that I definitely want to give away to you guys. So stay tuned for that, and I'll close this vlog out with a little Christmas cookie montage. Oh,